Hello and welcome to today's devotion for Tuesday the 23rd of June. A couple of weeks ago I shared a story about my experience of going through customs on returning from France when I was a student. Since then I've remembered a much more recent experience of going through customs which I would like to share with you today. I was reminded of this experience when I was listening to the Jeremy Vine show on Radio 2 on which people were sharing their experiences of racism in this country which I found quite shocking and upsetting. I had to go through customs when going on a retreat to the Isle of Man six years ago. I was going as part of the under fives group that I was a part of then. Despite the name, this wasn't a toddler group. It was a group for deacons and presbyters in the Lancashire Methodist district who were in their first five years of ministry, hence the under fives. It was a group that met monthly and went on retreat twice a year, not usually to the Isle of Man. This was a one-off and a special occasion. The Under Fives was a group that I found enormously helpful in those first five years of ministry. It provided support and fellowship. It was a safe place to share. And those two retreats a year were an absolute blessing. And perhaps that's a reminder to us as lockdown gradually eases not to rush straight back into the busyness of life, but to hold on to that blessing of space and quiet, time to rest, time to recharge our batteries, time to think and to reflect that lockdown has blessed some of us with. I say some of us, others have acquired new full-time jobs such as homeschooling to add to those we already had. It's good to remind ourselves to check that we are keeping the Ten Commandments, which include, of course, the commandment to observe the Sabbath. To have regular times of rest, times of not working and doing, times to focus on being. Anyway, back to the story and going on retreat to the Isle of Man with a group of fellow ministers. There were about eight of us catching the ferry from Hesham to Douglas and we had to go through customs and one of us got stopped. We found this quite amusing, a clergy person being stopped at customs and we're having a laugh about it and teasing the person who had been stopped, who had to have the case open, their case opened up and the contents checked through because we knew that they wouldn't mind being teased. It was funny until someone pointed out the probable reason why this person had been selected out of all of us to be stopped at customs because of the colour of their skin. I probably thought at the time, oh, don't spoil the fun of the moment by getting serious about things. Looking back, I'm not proud of that response. The person stopped by customs made no complaint to us or to the person at customs who stopped them. But I wonder what we could have done to have stood by them and to have challenged the reason why they were singled out from all of us to be stopped and their luggage searched. Perhaps we could have insisted that we were all in this together and that if one of us was going to have their bag searched, then all of us should have their bags searched. I'm not quite sure what we could have done, but I do know that we need to be prepared to make a response and to stand up in the face of injustice. To borrow a quote from a colleague, a quote used by a colleague when they were reflecting 
on why black lives matter. A quote that comes from the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Who said, history will have to record that the greatest tragedy of this period of social transition was not the strident clamour of the bad people, but the appalling silence of the good people. As today's challenge for each of us, I'm going to quote from a song by Michael Jackson, changing the words slightly to make them inclusive. And then I'm going to share with you the words of a song by Paul Field, the Christian singer-songwriter. But firstly, Michael Jackson, who sang, I'm starting with the person in the mirror. I'm asking them to change their ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a change. Now from Paul Field. Go peaceful in gentleness through the violence of these days. Give freely. Show tenderness in all your ways. Through darkness, in troubled times, let holiness be your aim. Seek wisdom. Let faithfulness burn like a flame. God speed you. God lead you. And keep you wrapped round his heart. May you be known by love. Be righteous. Speak truthfully in a world of greed and lies. Show kindness, see everyone through heaven's eyes. God hold you, enfold you, and keep you wrapped around his heart. May you be known by love. God bless and have a good day 